Israel telling over 1 million Palestinians in northern Gaza to flee south within 24 hours ahead of an expected ground invasion. The unprecedented order applies to about half of the territory's population. Hamas, however, telling Palestinians to stay put. The terrorist group rules Gaza and is responsible for the killing of over 1 1,300 Israelis since a sudden attack took place last Saturday. After Israeli bombardment of the territory this week, more than 1,500 Palestinians have died and no water or electricity is running there. But where can they go in an area roughly double the size of Washington, D.C.? In southern Gaza, there is the Rafah border crossing, connecting the territory between Egypt, uh, the territory in Egypt, rather. But that was bombed this week and has since closed. Reports saying Egypt is rejecting setting up safe corridors for refugees are emerging. So what now? Joining us now, we've got Yahoo Finance's Rick Newman with what's on his radar. Hey, Rick. Hey, guys. Well, this is just getting uglier, as I think many people have predicted, and it will get uglier still. So um, people in Gaza, they can't leave. I mean, they're walled in, basically. Uh, Egypt doesn't want them crossing in over the border with Egypt. And to say that the people in the north of Gaza should move south, as Israel has done, that's like saying everybody in Brooklyn should go to Manhattan. Um, what, are you, what, what are you supposed to do? There's no place to stay. Um, you know, any kind of facilities will be rapidly overwhelmed if they're not already overwhelmed. And I think this is a prelude to what uh, is going to be very troubling, which is um, as legitimate as... Uh, Israel's effort to go after Hamas is, it's going to be civilians that are going to get stuck in the middle. And we are we are likely to see many civilian deaths and whatever comes next. Uh, and, and uh, you know, th this is going to be tough for Israel because, uh, you know, when Hamas attacked last weekend, uh, I mean, full-throated support from the United States and many other countries, although not from China or Russia. Um, but that that's going to get a little iffier as this um, urban operation, this sort of clearing operation to eliminate Hamas gets underway. So um, everybody paying attention to this should gird themselves for some very unpleasant scenes that are likely to come up. Yeah, very uh, unfortunate, and like you said, one that um, we've unfortunately been uh, bracing for now over this last week. A story clearly we're going to keep a very, very close eye on. Rick Newman, thanks. Bye, guys.